Okay, so now we're gonna build the pendulum clock and we're gonna start with a base plate. We're gonna stick one long frame, four rows from the end, so one, two, three, four in the fourth, leaving three rows empty. And we're gonna stick the other long frame on the very end of the base plate, like this. Then we're gonna take a long axle and with the stop on the left side, count six holes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Stick it in the sixth hole. Then we're going to add a large gear and then a large green sprocket wheel and then push it through the opposite hole in the other frame. Then we're gonna take another long axle and with the stop again on the left side, push it through the hole that's next to this, so again, six holes up, push it through that hole, add a washer, a small yellow gear, and then a large yellow gear. And you wanna make sure that the directions that these gears are facing match the images. So these two gears are facing to the front, but this gear is now going to be the front is facing that direction. Okay, and then we can push it once again through this hole in this frame. And you wanna make sure that this small gear and this large gear mesh. Then we're gonna take a medium axle and with the stop on the left side, we're gonna count three holes, one, two, three. And then in the fourth hole, stick it through the frame. We're gonna add a washer and an axle lock. And then a small yellow gear with the back facing this direction. So the front is facing this direction. And on this side, we're actually also gonna add a washer and an axle lock to keep it in place. So now our setup looks pretty much like image number one. And if you turn it around to look at the back side, it looks like image number two. So now we're gonna move on to image number three. So then we're gonna take a large sprocket wheel. We're going to stick it on this medium axle, but we're only gonna stick it halfway on because then we're gonna take another medium axle and we're gonna put the stop on the left side and stick it into here and then put this into the corresponding hole in this frame. And I know that in the image there's another yellow gear right here, but it doesn't need to be there and it doesn't fit there. So this green sprocket wheel is holding these two medium axles together. And then in the front here, we're going to add a washer. Okay, so now without the front frame, we're pretty much done with image number three, and now we're gonna move on to image number four. So now we're gonna take another long axle. So right now you have an axle here, an axle below it, an axle here, and, and you want an axle above it. So with the stop on the left side, you're gonna leave three holes empty, so one, two, three from this axle, and then stick it in so it's right next to this other axle. Stick it through the hole, then you're going to add a washer and an axle lock and then a small gear and then you're going to push it through to the opposite hole. And then on the front, you're going to add on the front of this axle, you're going to add a large gear. So it looks like this. So this small gear should mesh with this large gear and you can see how they mesh. And then this small gear should mesh with that large gear. So you can see that those two are meshing as well. So now with this side facing to the left, we're gonna take a small axle and stick it in the second hole from the left on the top of the large frame with the stop on the left side. Then we're gonna stick it through a medium sprocket wheel but only halfway onto the axle. Then we're going to take a long axle and with the stop on the left side, put it through the second hole from the end on the opposite frame. So basically through the opposite hole. Then we're going to stick 
a medium sprocket wheel on it, but make sure that, so look at where the hole is in this medium sprocket wheel, and you want the hole in the other one to be not across from it, but maybe next to it. So this hole is on the bottom left, so I'm going to put this hole on the bottom right. And then push this long axle through and push the long axle into this medium sprocket wheel. So this medium sprocket wheel is connecting the short axle with this long axle. And now we're going to take two crankshafts and we're going to stick them in the holes in the medium sprocket wheels up here. Stick the side with the stop on it into the hole. You might have to push this medium sprocket wheel back a little. So stick it into the hole and then stick the other one into the other and then you can move it back. The crankshafts are going to get caught in the little teeth of this large sprocket wheel and as they do you can go back and forth and see that they're only leaving, they should only leave one tooth empty when they do that. So it's a little hard to see, but the pendulum is going to swing back and forth and there should be only one tooth empty when it goes back and forth. Okay, then we're going to stick a shaft plug in the hole that's one, two, three, four, five fifth from the bottom and then we're going to stick a medium yellow gear on it. You're going to want to stick the pendulum clock from your die cut on it first, which I seem to have lost, and then you're going to stick the medium gear on the shaft plug. And this medium gear should mesh with this big gear. Then we're going to stick two anchor pins on the top corners of the large frames right here, and now we're done with image number four. So now we're going to move on to image number five. Then we're going to stick a long rod with the hole that's closest to the end, that side, so there's a side with the hole that's farther from the end. So this side up, you're going to place it on top of these two anchor pins, like that. And then we're going to want to make the hinge in image number six. 